Last time I spoke about interdisciplinary research. The response was overwhelming and I received quite a few WhatsApp queries, quite a few WhatsApp messages requesting me to speak about interdisciplinary research from the point of view of students of literature. I am very happy to accept that request. The first thing I want to say is that no subject is more amenable to interdisciplinary research than literature. Literature by its very nature makes itself amazingly suitable for interdisciplinary research. Literature does not exist in a vacuum. Literature is interconnected, interlinked with everything else in life. Literature interpenetrates all other aspects of life. Please remember that one of the fundamental tenets of new historicism is that literary and non-literary texts circulate inseparably. This being so, it is only natural, it is only understandable that literature should be peculiarly suitable for interdisciplinary research. The first subject that comes to one's mind when one tries to think of interdisciplinary research from the point of view of the literature student is language. Language and literature are inseparably linked. The very nomenclature reveals it. BA English Language and Literature MA English Language and Literature So you can try to draw inputs from the study of language and apply them to literature. Just two examples. Dialect and register. Dialect is a geographical variety of or a regional variety of a language. Register is a class variety of a language. You can try to apply these concepts to your literary texts. Is there, a, is there the use of dialect? Is there the use of register in your text? It is for you to evaluate the use of dialect and register in your text and to arrive at conclusions. History and literature are closely interconnected. Not for nothing is new historicism called historicism. You can try to re relate the real life events in history with the events in your work of study. How far have historical events, how far have historical events, how far has history been able to influence the work you are subjecting to doctoral analysis and evaluation? Sociology. You can try to draw inputs from sociology and apply them to literature. I shall give you two or three examples. Class, caste and gender. How far have class, caste and gender influenced the thematic trajectory of your work, of the novel you are now studying? Philosophy. 
philosophy has much to offer to students of literature. However, unfortunately, most students are unaware of these things. It is certainly possible to work out an amazing application of systems found in philosophy to the works you are subjecting to doctoral research. Michel Foucault has taught us that power is everywhere. The writings of Michel Foucault have contributed to the tremendous expansion of the discipline of political science. It would certainly be advisable to identify inputs in political science which can be applied to literature. Every act is a political act. Every set of words is a political set of words. This being so, inputs from political science naturally seek applicability in literature. I shall give you an example. The power theory of Michel Foucault, for example. Michel Foucault's power theory can very well be applied to literary texts and what happens within the literary texts. Economics. Karl Marx said that economics is the base and that everything else is the superstructure. You may not agree with Karl Marx, but even if you don't agree with Karl Marx, you have to accept that economics plays a very big role in our lives. It is understandable that inputs from economics should be, be easily applicable to literature. For example, the theory of surplus value put forward by Karl Marx, it may be extremely dated from the point of view of the students of today, but the theory of surplus value of Karl Marx, if applied to appropriate literary texts, can produce amazing results. I think that we began the discussion by talking about literature and language. I shall now mention a discipline which is like language extremely closely related to literature, film studies. With some exaggeration, one can claim that if there were no liter literature, there would be no film. If there were no literary studies, there would be no film studies. You can take a set of films and try to identify how they have evolved out of literary texts. There are thousands and thousands of films which are based on literary texts. You can try to trace the evolution of such films from, from the literary texts. How has a film become the film it is? How is it based on literary texts? How does it differ from the literary texts? Why does it differ in the manners in which it differs from the literary texts on which it is based? I think an attempt to do research linking literature and film studies can be extremely fruitful.